This is Darjeeling, the beautiful place of clouds. So this is uh, day 7 I think of my tour. Right now we are at Darjeeling. So this is the only day at Darjeeling and I am at Tiger Hill right now. So we are here to see the sunrise but as you can see it's very foggy so we might not experience the full uh, experience of the sunrise so we'll just see how it goes. So as you can see it's really really crowded here and unfortunately the weather is very foggy so everyone's waiting for a non-existent sunrise. You are supposed to be able to see the Himalayas from here but you, can, you can't even see past these trees. A lot of people are just going back because it's a waste. We're leaving because it's not worth it. So yeah, I'll see you in the next location. This is a train track. There's a toy train that runs through the city. So it's for that. And this is the war memorial. So I'm here at the War Memorial Batasia and it's a very nice location but there's not that much to see here but it's alright, it's nice to see and there's an eco garden everywhere beside so it's also very nice and yeah I don't know what else is here we have to see. There's some nice uh, garden work here, it's very nice. It's very foggy. <laughs> this is the hotel that we're staying in right now. It's quite a long walk up from the road. So this is the Japanese Buddhist monastery and yeah, I'm going to go up. Interesting monuments. What is a peace pagoda? It sounds like a snack. This monastery is a very serene and peaceful location. Uh, yeah, there's not there's an there's a mediocre amount of people that are visiting here, and as you can see, it's colossal. It's very majestic.
lots of interesting architecture with stories as well. This is Nirvana. Division and transportation of relics. Okay. So this is the Japanese Buddhist monastery. So nice. This is a very awesome place to check out. I really like it. But again, I make the same mistake over and over again. I wore socks on wet ground and now my feet are so wet and disgusting. So yeah. And this is basically like a circular structure. So you can just go around and see all the 360 degree views of all the greenery around and the gardening. and fog because unfortunately today is very foggy it has some information here as you can see about i don't know what a pakoda is it sounds like pakoda like a snack so we have very limited time so we're going to go now we only had 20 minutes here and so yeah it's a nice experience So they seem to have given a map here, a guide map. So to do at the zoo, not to do at the zoo, I think we should know those. And yeah, there's a lot of different animals and I can't see anything because of the fog. We have to be quiet, I guess, but not many people are being quiet. So now that we're at the zoo, there seem to be some exhibits on the left side and you can go up on the right side, up this hill that I showed you. So yeah, it's pretty cold and foggy, but here, I don't know why, but the fog is less. So it's pretty nice and you can see everything. So yeah, I'm looking for any rare animals that we can find. very nice layout for the museum it's like on a hill kind of so we are kind of going around and climbing and also and all the exhibits are on the side so it's very nice and here is the museum very nice open area with some statues a lot of information this is a very nice zoo and yeah that uh, save soil thing we did that too Okay, so this is like a memorial for the first man in the world to climb Mount Everest. So, interesting. So we're just eating here at the HMI restaurant, uh, the museum's restaurant and, oops, that kid just fell. So, so far here we have covered three places, the HMI, the museum and the zoo 
and i think they're all up to standards i think i mean like very high standards the museum was the best i think because it had a lot of different uh, a lot of information and nice really difficult to make replicas of the himalayas and all and mobile cameras and all weren't allowed the zoo was also pretty nice but yeah i think the museum was the best I saw a monkey but no it was this it's just intensely staring at me for some reason <laughs> Daddy! this is a himalayan wolf it looks kind of skinny don't know where it's going there seems to be a giant bear here just sleeping or lying down lazily. <laughs> it reminds me of my friends. So the Bengal Museum had a lot of fauna and as usual no photography or videography. I could see a lot of hard work put behind all of the displays that were there and everything. So it was really nice, really interesting and it's definitely worth checking out. I really enjoyed that museum the best. The fog has now cleared up. It's afternoon time now. So you can see everything. So I'm here in the tea gardens, the tea estates in uh, Darjeeling and they are absolutely beautiful and stunning and aesthetic. You can see all the fog just unraveling all of the uh, greenery and the there's a city or something there, a little village type of thing. So yeah, it's definitely a really nice sight to see. I think they're selling some tea as well, but I'm not really that interested. So yeah. actually to cover all the places we only have one day of sightseeing here in Darjeeling so yeah I'm just trying to make the most content out of what I have we're not going to stay here for long as well you can see so many plantations and all the different layers of bushes that are there and it's really really scenic it looks like an oil painting this looks even better in person than it does in the video that you're seeing We're selling all these teas and tea related products. So there are a lot of uh, stores and stalls I guess that are selling all tea related products and yeah I'm not going to try any, I'm not that interested. The two main things are uh, milk tea and green tea. So for all of you vegans out there like my cousin. <laughs> You can choose green tea, I guess. So I guess I'm trying this. I changed my mind. It's tea. So yeah, here goes. I don't know how it's going to be. I think I'm expecting it to taste like coffee because it looks the same. So yeah. So this is my uh, tea review. I think it. It tasted kind of like Horlicks, Complan and Boost, the same thing as what I thought coffee tasted like. But it has that like uh, tea leaves kind of taste to it. I guess that's how I expected it to be. So I think it's pretty good, but I like coffee better. So how is the tea? 
This tea is extremely good. Uh, I was not expecting it will be this good. I had a black tea. It's a fresh tea from the season and it's very good. And I took uh, milk tea for my parents. So they put cardamom in that? Yes, the cardamom. I can taste the cardamom. It is so good. This is also quite a busy type of market place, I guess. You can get a lot of souvenirs and gifts and whatnot. Okay, so I'm not kidding. Darjeeling is just a cloud. If you want to live in the clouds, you can come and live here. It's just absolutely fog. It's like everywhere there's a fog machine. That's how much fog there is. It's like all precipitation. You can feel it in the air. It's not like raining. It's kind of half raining. Yeah, so the correct word for that is drizzling. I'm an idiot. I said half raining. Okay. Well, whatever. So right now, I'm just walking on the mall road and there seems to be uh, like a mediocre amount of rush. It's just fog, fog, fog everywhere. I told you, Darjeeling is a big cloud. Very old fashioned type of style building. I guess the chief minister came a while ago, so there's posters all over the town. I don't know what that is, but I've been seeing it everywhere. So yeah, here it's even more busy in the main central part of this road, the small road. Uh, as you can see behind me, there's a lot of shops still and all the buildings are a different variety style in front of me or behind me now there is a stage kind of thing i don't know what it is people are just sitting in it because it's raining right now so yeah so yeah as i was saying before this is actually an open air theater it's called at Ch open air theater at chaurasta Darjeeling. Southfield College. Pinky local neglected pony. I'm not sure what that means. I think it's supposed to be some kind of social message. But right now I'm an idiot to understand. My brain is not working, I guess. So far I really like Darjeeling. I would like to spend some more time visiting the other areas here. The areas that we already visited, I would like to visit again, I guess, and see what more they have to offer. So the road situation in Darjeeling is, well, not so clean, I mean, in some areas. Wherever we were walking in the morning, it was really muddy and disgusting and like drainagey, I guess. Uh, but, you know, we managed to make it through all of that, getting my shoes dirty. Me being the idiot I am, I wore breathable, porous uh, running shoes and now they're really dirty. So whatever that's not the point the point is the roads here they're pretty developed i mean this city is pretty developed it's a tourist attraction place as you know so it's very nice but the roads if there's, there's a lot of mud basically there's a lot of dirt everywhere on the roads and it gets converted into like mud because of all the precipitation that's going on in sikkim it was very clean there was not a speck of plastic anywhere it was really clean I don't know how they manage that, but hats off to them. Here it's a little worse. So now we're going to Happy Valley Tea Estate in Darjeeling. Uh, we got to go down from the main road actually.
you have to admit Darjeeling is a beautiful place man it's awesome and the cold is actually quite tolerable I don't even need this jacket to be honest maybe it's because I got used to it but I'm not sure I genuinely don't feel that cold anymore actually I'm sweating to be honest but yeah as you can see it looks really cold because of all the fog I'll just show you there's a better view right now That's it for this uh, tea plantation for now. Uh, I would like to come back to Darjeeling for sure, explore more things, but time doesn't permit right now. So yeah, that's it for the tea plantation and I'll see you later. Well, today is the day we're leaving Darjeeling, so I had a good time. I had a very nice time exploring everything. And I would like to come back and see everything for what it is and more. So we're back here at uh, Bagdogra Airport. This is the closest airport to any of the places you want to visit in Sikkim or Darjeeling or anywhere. So yeah, we had an awesome time at Sikkim and Darjeeling and it was fun exploring all these places and seeing what all is there so uh, i'll just let my cousin share his experience uh, so how was darjeeling and sikkim it was very nice i really enjoyed sikkim darjeeling i was a little disappointed because i could uh, we could not uh, see the tiger hill uh, yeah. view uh, view of kanchenjunga so that was a little disappointing and it was very cloudy uh, for past two days here other than that i really enjoyed the trip and hopefully sometime again I will come back to Darjeeling to view the uh, mountain. Yeah, hopefully me too. <laughs> yeah, so thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah. I'm like running and jumping i guess bouncing down this road it's very steep i'm trying to stop myself from tumbling this is just fog 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 everywhere fog chal raha hai ek chimtu dar kindra that's it for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye